horde, corrupted by demons, bent on conquest, some driven by the lust for power, others for the pure thrill of destruction. Chogal, a rare two-headed ogre, was the first and most powerful of the horde's ogre magi. Now he's here, and the Nexus will never be the same. Chogal is a terrifying force on the battlefield, someone who can start and end a fight all on his own, but only if both heads work together. Two players, two heads, sharing one body. Unusual limitations coupled with exciting new gameplay experiences. Communication will be essential. The player who picks Cho is in command of movement for both players, and thus responsible for keeping the brothers in position to damage enemies. Cho's first ability is Surging Fist. Chogal lunges forward, knocking aside enemies in his path. Use this ability for picking off isolated heroes or escaping while outnumbered. This is Chogal's primary tool for initiation, so make sure your partner and teammates are prepared to back you up. Cho's second ability, Consuming Blaze, can burn down multiple enemies at once. Not only does it initiate fire damage in a wide area, but if an enemy is burned, Chogal will be healed over a short duration. Cho's final basic ability, Rune Bomb, requires teamwork. When activated, Cho hurls an orb of dark magic in a straight line. But it's your companion player, controlling Gaul, who has to finish the job. Gaul's runic blast will cause the rune bomb to explode along its path. A failed attempt at this exchange, however, results in little damage done. With good timing, Chogal can quickly clear minion waves and even snipe heroes outside of melee range. While Cho maneuvers on the battlefield, Gaul unleashes powerful spell damage to wear down and finish opponents. Gaul's Q, Shadow Flame, is a skill shot that fires a bolt of shadow magic in a straight line. It has a very low cooldown, so use this liberally to burn down enemies in range. Gaul's final basic ability is Dread Orb. A Sphere of Agony is launched in a straight line, bouncing twice and causing damage to whatever it touches. The length of the orb's bounces can be controlled by the initial launch distance chosen by Gaul. Bounces will go farther when launched further away, and shorter when launched closer. Though Gaul can't control movement directly, he has a way to help motivate things. <laughs> Gaul's Z ability isn't a normal mount, but rather a burst of speed to help the pair escape from danger or chase down fleeing targets. Now let's talk about Chogal's heroic abilities. Cho's first heroic is Hammer of Twilight. This legendary weapon adds a major increase to all basic attack damage, while also providing an AoE cleave that damages, knocks back, and stuns all enemies in range. Gaul's first heroic is Shadow Bolt Volley. Once activated, a storm of shadow damage streams out for several seconds wherever the player is aiming. Cho's second heroic is Upheaval. After a brief delay, nearby enemy heroes are yanked into point-blank range, opening them up to devastating area damage, such as Gaul's second heroic, Twisting Nether. When activated, Gaul channels a field of dark energy that slows all nearby enemies. When activated again, it explodes, dealing massive damage. Chogal is unique among the heroes we've introduced thus far, and will require an unusual amount of cooperation with another player to use him to his full potential. Your team will be rewarded with two kills instead of one should you manage to bring him down. It's a two-edged sword. With great communication and coordination, Chogal will feel like you've recruited a World of Warcraft raid boss to your team. However, with poor synergy, your team will miss significant opportunities. If you happen to find yourself up against Chogal, do not try to take him on alone. He has a very high health pool and a lot of damage at his disposal, so bring your allies when challenging him in battle. Time to unleash some chaos! Chogal's path of destruction is underway. It's time to find out once and for all whether two heads are better than one. Make sure to subscribe to Heroes of the Storm here on YouTube, and we'll see you in the Nexus.